This is Shred, and today we're going to make guitar solos that summon Satan. <laughs> now one question I frequently get is how can I write a good guitar solo? Simple. Just sell your soul to the devil. Instant solo power. <laughs> now in all seriousness, I'm no solo god. <laughs> But in this video, I'll give you my best tips for making guitar solos that summon Satan. Which, as we all know, are the best kind of solos. <laughs> we use a certain song from a certain band, Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd, as a test subject. Devil help me, I've written three guitar solos that progress from normal to extremely evil. The tabs for each solo, along with my theory analysis, will be available at my Patreon page. Patreon is where you give me your immortal soul in exchange for unlimited musical power, music theory, and technique. It's about becoming more than just a guitar player. So grab your axe and let's get to it. <laughs> Now just because you know the pentatonic scale doesn't mean your solos will make the babe swoon. Constructing an epic solo starts with following the chords. The chords. The chords. Now I started with a bend over the B minor chord. By bending the second degree of the scale up to the third, or a C sharp to D, you get a pleasing effect. The next chord is A, which means just play any random notes you like. Nah, we can do better. Try following the notes in an A chord, A, C sharp, and E. I used an arpeggio sequence here to follow those notes, and I also added in the ninth B for a little sonic seasoning. A G chord is next, which makes me think delicious G Lydian thoughts. Contrary to popular opinion, you don't have to play all the notes all the time. In fact, all I did for this E minor chord was play the high E open string. How dare you not shred, shred? Next, we return to the B minor chord where I use some reverse pedal point to conclude the progression. Reverse pedal point is like regular pedal point, except the repeated note is a higher pitch instead of the lower pitch. Now all that's well and good, but let's turn the evil up a notch. Here I've changed the chords to create a more wicked effect. <laughs> Finger tapping over a B minor major 7th chord with a little contrary motion moving into the next chord, F sharp 7. Contrary motion just means when two or more voices move in opposite directions. A little sunlight gleams in with a G Lydian run before descending back into darkness with a sinister three octave B minor major seven arpeggio. Not bad, Shred, but you can do better. Why, yes, I certainly can. <laughs> Warning, now this last guitar solo is extremely dissonant. That's actually pretty catchy. Now you're talking, Shred. Nice. Our Satan summoning is complete. Now we start this ultra evil solo with a harmonic minor bass line. I'm grabbing the open B string with my middle finger here. B stands for 
bitch. Or to reinforce the root. A little sweet picking up an F sharp seven arpeggio. <laughs> And then hold on tight for a very dissonant G augmented to E minor 6. Sure, I can make you the world's greatest guitarist. The price, your soul. <laughs> My soul, no way. What can I get for a dollar? World's greatest bass player. <laughs> Should have sold his soul. Now, if there's one takeaway from all this, it's to follow the chords. It's not the only way, but it's probably the most reliable way to make a good guitar solo. Which makes sense if you think about it, because music is really a language. By coordinating the elements of lead and harmony, you make a coherent musical statement. Grab the full tabs and compositional analysis below at my Patreon page. And if you really want to please Satan, score one of these shirts for your next family reunion. Until next time, shred till you're dead. <laughs>